Okay, I currently have no one indicating they want to speak, which isn't very helpful. Who would like to speak next? I can Councillor speak, Councillor Cordover, Mayor. thank you for saving me. Councillor Cordover. Thank you very much, Mayor. This is my substantial contribution. Firstly, I would like to thank the staff very much who helped progress this year's budget deliberations under exceptional circumstances against the backdrop of a once in a hundred year pandemic. Without relitigating the points that I made in the workshop, I would like to stress that I think that we can improve our community engagement and strive towards genuine participatory budgeting. We need to improve our efforts of engagement with the community consultative forum and I suggest that next year we hold a series of face-to-face -face workshops so that we can offer some actual choices and options between budget priorities. We need to hear from individuals as well as community organisations and by having options and choices to select from it may be much easier for time poor members of the community to have their say without having to pour over hundreds of pages of figures like the councillors have to. Now to my main points which speaks to our budget priorities in, long, in, in line with the long-term financial plan and also our strategic plan. It speaks to our priorities about putting the community at the heart of everything we do and to make Kingborough a great place to live by delivering on our organisation's values of accountability, respect, excellence and inclusiveness. This council is fiscally prudent, judicious and careful. There is no obvious fat to cut. The council runs lean. In a time of dif difficulty like now, the council would be better placed to improve the lives of residents through increased service provision, not decreasing it when people need the help the most. I have full confidence in our council's ability to cut costs. I have less confidence in our ability to improve services, improve our assets, properly fund the replacement of equipment and provide staff with the support they need to do their jobs well. I know of no community member who drives over a pothole in our municipality and says, well, that's good. That means that our council's saving money. No resident I've spoken to goes to a playground with their kids and when they see the swing set is broken and the chain is rusty, they say, well, that's lucky. That means our council is saving money. No Kingborough family I know goes to the beach and when they see that the toilets are closed or filthy, they say, well, gosh golly, aren't our councillors doing a good job as responsible fiscal managements? They're keeping up the good work, saving money on our council by losing services. And when a hardworking Kingborough family saves up enough money for a renovation, they don't want to lose time in the building permit process because the council doesn't have adequate planning resources in place to help them get the resources, get the job done properly when they need it. That benefits no one. And yet, despite these obvious facts, our council this time has gone down the path of austerity. Even though we know that when you do austerity, it is usually the people who can afford it the least who end up paying the most because it is right now that people need extra support, extra community programs, extra help. I had over $92,000 of savings that had already taken place from specific line items before the efficiency dividend of $380,000. An efficiency dividend is a cut, and I voted against this cut because it will make matters worse, not better. This council is great at saving money, but it's not so good at maintaining and improving services. In the long run, the only way to increase revenue for the council is to encourage people to stay in Kingborough because of how nice a place it is to live. And by cutting costs and never improving services, this council is cutting off its nose to spite its face. We all believe in responsible fiscal management. We all believe in sound finance. This council has come out of the COVID crisis better than most. But now that we have cut, we must commit next time to spending more because every penny spent by this council is a penny spent on our community who pay into the kitty collectively in order to receive the benefit. Every penny the council saves is a penny not spent on our community. So for now, we are taking away from the community with these budget cuts and with this efficiency dividend. But next time, we need to give back. Thank you, Mayor.